Yo, what's going on guys? Y'all already know who it is, man. It's your boy, Brian right here again with another video, man. And today, I'm coming to you guys to talk to you about these two hurricanes that we are now experiencing right now in this lifetime. Well, I ain't gonna say this lifetime, but right now in this time that we're in. And, you know, First off, I just want to say I really don't make videos like these, you know what I'm saying? I really try to stay away from videos like these, but this really made me feel some type of way, you know what I'm saying? So it's like I wanted to talk about it and I wanted to uh, free my thoughts and talk to you guys, basically. But um, Harp, I don't know if you guys have heard about that. Uh, but basically, HARP is the High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program. I'm going to put the definition down below in the description. So if you really want to read more into it, just go down in the description. Now, I'm not going to play the actual clip, but I'm going to play the audio version of it. Uh, if you want to actually watch the full clip, then I will put the link in the description. Uh, First, I just want to give a shout out to True Seeker. Uh, shout out to him for posting this video. It was in my recommended videos and I decided to check it out. You know what I'm saying? And I've heard of Heart before, but I never really just dug into it. You know what I'm saying? But um, basically, there's this scientist and he's like one of the top scientists in like the world. And uh, he's very reliable. Uh, from what I'm from what I saw from watching the video but um, he's a he's definitely a source you know what I'm saying so basically what he was talking about now this was on live TV guys this was on CBS okay that's what really drew me to it I was like okay now you hear things about this you hear about conspiracy theories you hear things like that nature but for it to be on the news live you know what i'm saying uh he was basically talking about this program harp and he was basically saying how the government uses it to manip uh manipulate the weather to make it do what they want it to do you know what i'm saying and uh he basically gave a few examples in the video and things like that uh like i said i'm not really gonna talk too much about this uh if you just really want to see the full details like i said the link will be down in the description but you know, if this is true, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, really, really true. It's really messed up to the point where, you know, it, it's sad that people have to lose their lives and, you know what I'm saying, families and, you know, people lost everything. You know what I'm saying? I heard that Houston, after the flooding and the hurricane, people the landlords and people like that still was saying they needed to pay rent how they gonna be able to pay for a place that they don't even have anymore you know what i'm saying like how is that even possible like i don't even think in my mind i wouldn't do it why would i pay for a spot that i don't even have anymore you know what i'm saying i know you gotta live but i gotta live too and right now we both don't have a home so what you saying you know what I mean? So I feel you. You need yours, but I need me too. You know what I'm saying? And now we have this second hurricane right back to back. And you know what I'm saying? That's another thing. Two hurricanes back to back? I don't know, man. That's that's a little fishy. Hurricane Armor. 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 I don't even know how to say it, but... um. Right now it's getting close to hitting Florida you know what I'm saying that I just want to say my prayers go out to everybody that's been involved in this you know what I'm saying tragedy you know what I'm saying I just you know what I'm saying I hope that you guys can bounce back really quickly and that you can get things back going you know what I'm saying for those that lost a loved one you know what I'm saying I'm so sorry you know what I'm saying but um it's currently headed towards Florida. So a lot of people, if you've been paying attention to the news or social media, pretty much social media, you see a lot of videos and pictures of like traffic and how the E-Way looks and how, 
you see a lot of people trying to evacuate from Florida because of this hurricane. But not only that, I seen that there was like two more storms coming right after Hurricane Armour. I don't know how to say it, so whatever. That's crazy, man, to be having all of these major, major, you know what I'm saying, tragedies happen back to back to back. You know what I'm saying? It's just, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But uh, tell me what you guys think. Uh, like I said, please go watch the video. I'm about to, the link of the video will be in my description. Uh, like I said, when you go there, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you let them know that Broadway sent you. You know what I'm saying? I would appreciate that. Uh, let them know that we, we strong, B Nation gang in the building. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, man. Here's the audio to the tape. I'm about to play it right now. And, uh... Once I'm done, that'll be pretty much the end of the video, you know what I'm saying? So, let me know what you guys think, man. Come back to my video on this video right here, and let me know what you guys think about that in the comments, man. You know what I'm saying? We can talk about it. So, uh, yeah, man. I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm out. Peace. You know, they were talking about climate change yesterday, and now we're learning that scientists and researchers are looking at how to change the weather on purpose. That's right. Lasers now could one day manipulate rain and lightning. CBS This Morning contributor Michio Kaku is a physics professor at City College of New York. Professor, nice to see you. Extraordinary seeing Al Gore and Bill Clinton there together with Charlie, wasn't it? That's right, yeah. Yeah, they did not get into this discussion, no. though. <laughs> but it is fascinating. I mean, lasers, really, to change the weather? That's right. Well, as Mark Twain once famously said, everyone complains about the weather, but no one ever does anything about it. Well, instead of doing a rain dance, we physicists are firing trillion watt lasers into the sky to actually precipitate rain clouds and actually bring down lightning bolts. This is potentially a game changer. But this is experimental. It's experimental. However, in the laboratory so far, it works. When you have water vapor and you have dust particles or ice crystals, you can precipitate rain. It condenses around the seeds. These seeds can also be created by laser beams. By firing trillion watt lasers, you rip apart the electrons, creating what are called ions, and these ions act like seeds, like dust particles, bringing down rain and even lightning. Go ahead. Well, I, I, this is fascinates me in part because, too, I remember reading the stories that China had used this during the Olympics, that the USSR had used this after Chernobyl to create rain clouds. I mean, w did those really work then? We have some of these capabilities now? Inconclusive. Even in the 60s, the CIA used this to uh, bring down monsoons during the Vietnam War to wash out the Viet Cong.